We're Eamon and Beck, and a year ago we moved out of our van and into this cabin in the woods. Built in the 70s, our place needed a facelift, so we got to demolishing, painting, re-roofing, laying floor, building a deck, and installing windows. And we never thought the day would come when the finish line would be in plain sight. But here we are. I think I'm doing this wrong. Oh, that's way too runny, Eamon. No! <laughs> wrong way! What are you doing? <laughs> Good morning. Much needed coffee for a very busy day ahead. Cheers. Buddy. It's time to get up. Come on. I'm just warming up all of my body parts. <laughs> How's that warm up going, bud? The reason this list is so exciting is this is hopefully our last week of cabin renovations. I'm coming out! <laughs> This guy, <laughs> at least he comes out with pizzazz at 10 a.m. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good morning, buddy. Last day of Reno. Yahoo! Now that you're fed, I want to go over my little list of what we got going on. Starting with grouting the kitchen. Yay! Trim everywhere. Toe kicks. Trim everywhere. <laughs> and then the kitchen counters. Like, also wanted to do your car, fix your car tire. Is that a priority on our crazy already to-do list? It's kind of a priority, and I need to go to the dump today. Okay, car. Escape some of the chores. <laughs> okay, so after that? Yes, buddy, <laughs> after my tea, I'll start to train. Before we can grout, I gotta remove all the little tic-tac-toes. You just enjoy your tea, bud. I'll just be tic-tac-toeing over here. Thanks, bud, I just woke up. <laughs> I know you just woke up. We're not the most confident in our grouting skills, so. Yeah, shout out home vision DIY. <laughs> Let's go. Home Renovision, buddy. So grounding is really Thanks, simple. Jeff. Welcome to E&B Home Renovation. Just kidding, Jeff. Um, thanks for the tips. <laughs> <laughs> Step one is clean. Basically, I'm gonna go around with the sponge and Amy's gonna go around with the tool and get rid of any excess glue. Uh, Jeff also made it very clear to not tile and then grout 48 hours later, which is exactly what we've done. Um, we maybe know even longer. Hey? Eh? I just might make this job a little bit more difficult. I got that brand new feeling, like the original. I got that brand new feeling, I got the steam to roll. You give me just one look and you know I'm good. We're making go. a smoothie. You know I'm good to go. Let's get together. Let's get to having some fun. Let's do I think I'm doing this wrong. How do I know what 10 pounds is? Definitely need more water. Alright, we've overwatered. We've got quite the runny grout here, but. Oh boy. We're gonna give it a go, anyways. Oh, that's way too runny, Eamon. In moments of extreme stress, 
Don't also let stinky pits get you down. <sighs> Big thanks to our friends at Native for keeping us fresh during this hot girl summer. Native is now getting even more sustainable. Getting rid of their old plastic containers, switching them out for something a little more fun. This is made from paperboard, and Native is committed to sourcing from responsibly managed forests. The product goes on smooth and dry, super easy to apply, just like their original formula. These deodorants are vegan and cruelty free, and they use ingredients that we already know and love, like coconut and shea butter. They have beautiful scents and are coming out with new ones seasonally. Even after 5K, the coconut vanilla's got me feeling like a tropical vacation. Good choice. The three plastic free deodorants are usually $39, but if you use the link and the code ENB at checkout, you'll get them for $29. That's 25% off. Now back to the tiles. Who was the one that was out in the water? Who's the one that was Sorry, yelling? Who was, who was that? Who's the who one was? that was yelling? More water, more water, more water! Yeah. Oh, nurse. <gasps> my counter. Yeah, it's gonna make a mess, huh? Do you just wipe it off afterwards? That or I need to get a... Oh my gosh, I'm not so sure about this. The color? No, I like the color. You just gotta wax on, wax off, huh? Really reading up on local news here. We've got uh, a couple of residents celebrating birthdays over 100. Who's that? Um, we have Marit. She's 103 today. Wow. And uh, the headline news clip said, Donkey Invasion Delights Seniors. So, I guess we live in a senior community town. <laughs> and Eamon's still wearing boxers. Buddy, i am decided <laughs> that I'm too far gone now. Just not, commit to it? I'm not putting pants on all day. Okay, it is really hot again. It appears grouting is a one-man job, so I'm gonna go down the list and actually paint the electrical box. I do love me some painting. You got that something. I couldn't find one of those ever important stir sticks, so I got that brand new feeling. Yeah, I'm original. You got what I want. Got what I want. You give me just one look in. We remember the dump is open until 12.30. It's 12.15. It's loaded up. Eamon's got pants on. <laughs> it's gonna be tight. I hope we'll make it. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, just in time, baby. Just in time. I was kind of hoping we might see a bear. There's usually three or four little dump bears hanging out, but not today. Maybe next time. Now that the grout is dried a couple minutes, um, I'm going over it with the wet sponge. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and Eamon's continuing the grout. What do you guys grout. think of the white grout? I love it. I love it. It helps make the tiles less stop tiny. Yeah. First tick of the day, grout kitchen. quick lunch break. We kind of run hot and cold with these quinoa salads. I don't know if your Costco sell them. They're pretty good, but then you kind of get sick of them, but now we're kind of into them again. And we just added a little bit of arugula, pickled beet, and farm boy feta cheese is very, very nice. Moving on to toe kicks. I'm gonna clean up underneath them and then we'll slop them on. Shouldn't take us more than 10 minutes. What could go wrong? Nothing. It's gonna be easy. Nothing. <laughs> So what we want to do here before we put the toe kicks on, make sure all the cabinets are nice and buttoned up tight. Toe kicks. talking about me, right? 
If you've been watching the series, you might remember that our dishwasher sticks out a little bit. So we're just going to trim it up first and uh, pretend that never happened. Yeah, Ikea lady, that was so helpful. And she's told us this would go here. But this does not go here. <laughs> Operation smash the drywall. That smoothie I spilled. Oh my gosh, that's gross. Sorry so about honestly, that. So honestly, if we just take that half inch off, you might get it. Oh, just here even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought we had to take all that. Yeah, this yeah. is super worth it. Okay. Come on. Three, two, two one. one. Babe, you smashed it. We're gonna need a clean up on aisle seven. There's been a drywall spill. Oh, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll try calling her. Uh, Rebecca? <laughs> Rebecca, they, they need you down in aisle seven. <laughs> hey, look everybody, it's a dishwasher. <laughs> look better? Yeah, it looks good. Listen dear Rebecca, you're not my homie. Hey. My homie wouldn't think that I screwed up, even though that doesn't really fit. Holy <laughs> p <laughs> No section like a Nike section. Yeah, my biceps are too big, buddy. Oh. Get it, bud. Okay. Okay. Do the honors. Nothing better. Woo! Only two ticks? It's like seven o'clock. <laughs> Long day. Jeez. Guess what time it is. <laughs> trim everywhere time. I probably did not get enough trim. No, I don't get it. We're too fast. Well. So see what I got here. I got five of those little wooden ones. Yeah. 25 of those and four of those. Okay. Guess how much that costs? Hundred bucks? <laughs> Twenty bucks? Two hundred bucks? Five hundred and forty-nine dollars. No. Yeah, dude, trim it. No. I swear, those little corner pieces, those ones, eleven dollars each. No. Yeah, dude. And he's like, trim everywhere. <laughs> we do need to trim everywhere. No, I know. Otherwise, it looks silly. Take out a loan to do it. Holy smokes. 500? Okay. One step closer, puppy. Puppy, it looks nice. Yeah, it does. Well, there's no one really to blame but myself here. I bought a baseboard uh, trim. That's trim. I just thought, I thought, oh, that's cool. I have a little like sleek angle on it because there's like 10,000 different trims to choose from, and uh, that's stupid because, as you can see here, that does not look good. What Bad I boy. It? No, I think I got to redo it. But that's what wood looks like for now. I hear the night calling. I take the back door. Towards you? Towards the window. <laughs> Wrong way! What are you doing? <laughs> I think so. Hurt. Okay, pull away. I gotta let go, let go. That was hard, dude. Yeah. Well, friends, the um, range hood didn't get hung, as you can see. We are celebrating Friday night with some non alcoholic beers. I have decided to give up alcohol, yeah. and I'm feeling very good. I'm about a week and a half in. <laughs> so cheers, baby. Cheers, my love. To the beginning of the end. Oh, I was gonna say date night with my favorite. Oh, I like them both. Good morning everybody. It's been a few days since my parents came up. We all enjoyed some sun, boating, relaxation, and now we're putting them to work. Good morning everybody. Good, Good morning, morning Becca Boo. <laughs> How's the uh, 
stain colors. Uh, we're just waiting for the master chemist to mix all of the <laughs> all of the different <laughs> colors. It went easy the first time, and now I'm trying to recreate it. Not that good. Well, that looks nice. Yeah. That's a yellow. Yeah. Ooh, Eamon. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> it's so hard to tell outside too. That looks more red, and then that one kind of looks the same. In case you're watching thinking, how do you not know what stain you're using for your cottage yet? Well, some of it is just old wood that is worn over time and created this golden color. And over the past couple of months, we've been trying to match it, sometimes successfully and sometimes not. Most of the time, not. <laughs> Don't look at the kitchen ceiling. It's totally different. But yeah, I think it looks better with stain. So All right. I think we should stain it. Okay. Let's get the stain department on it. We're on it. Eamon takes his supervisor role very seriously. You gotta get that edge. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you're gonna be top man. Don't worry. Really I'm gonna sick. go have breakfast soon. Trouble it comes and goes. Trouble it finds a way, and I'm ready. This seems right. Ah. Uh. Show the worker bees what needs to be done. <laughs> Can you get a film of that like that? <laughs> That's classic. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Unlike Eamon, I have issues with my parents working and me not working. So I've come to the bedroom. We're gonna move all this out because we cheaped out and didn't paint that back wall. It's one of those things in the moment feels okay and then three months later you still haven't fixed it. So today we fix it. My mom and I are gonna tackle painting the bedroom while Eamon and my dad tried to get me started on this DIY project on the stairs. So here's the current look at the stairs, just green carpet, brown, kind of unfinished wood. This is what I happened upon on Instagram a few days ago, where you paint the staircase white and then you have like a jute rug running up the stairs. So, oh! There's some smells coming out of that carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Toledo. You, you didn't even need any power tools. Hey, it's called pipes. <laughs> What's wrong with this scene again, Dad? Um, you know what, I've, I'm becoming more and more acquainted with the feel of this type of a scene. <laughs> <laughs> we get my parents doing a little bit of work and they run off scared. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Thanks guys for your help. Because of you, paint bedroom. Check. Next up, hey, paint electrical box. Shall we finish the staircase? Good morning party people. I painted the staircase well into the night last night. We woke up this morning, got our workout in. Ugh. Nice. Freaking heck. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. First thing on the list is... 
stairs, we're not sure about the railing. It's a little <laughs> white, but I think it needs another coat at least. And we think we need to fill in this with some paintings and you know. But we did pick up the carpet we ordered. So this is kind of cool. So we had this, uh, went to a carpet store, had this cut the right side and then added like a little hemming edge on it for the carpet runner. Let's see what it's gonna look like. Oh, oh I it's love gonna be it! Nice. It's gonna be really nice. So this is another project we gotta do, babe. This, this is all open up here. Uh -huh. And we've got a roommate move in. We did? Charleston the Chippy. Oh, so this is a snake. Chippy! <laughs> there he is, Charleston's what? corner. Hey, Charleston! What? She's gonna run along the board. As soon as I step in, he runs along the board and then comes out the front there. Charleston! How you get, Charleston? Come on, we can see you! Charleston! On your way! <laughs> well, he's full on got a nest up here, eh? I know, it's kind of like cute, but at the same time, it's probably gonna be an issue. Yeah. Of him like chewing on my tools, but uh -huh. I might let him live the winter. I haven't decided yet. Hashtag bring back the pony. Shout out to my mom and dad on an awesome stain job. Looks primo. I'm riding that trim horse down to the city. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, trying to get the gypsies. Oh. Oh, it just doesn't make it, does it? Oh, are those orange? Those, are, those little peanut butter stains on the tree are their eggs. Oh. And each clump is like thousands, so. Life with Eamon in a nutshell. You're working on the trim and then all of a sudden you're spraying wasp and hornet, hornet, hornet killer. You never know when inspiration strikes. Yeah, exactly. I am sweating. I think we're done. Trim, staircase, railings. I don't know about that. There's one other thing I'd like to do today that I've kind of been putting off for a little while. Okay. This gator is trash. Anybody want to buy a gator? Please let me know in the comments. Really good price. I just got the car fired up and saw a little mouse pop out of the wheel. Oh, there's definitely some mice living in here. See that screw? That's the problem. I think that's pretty well in there. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna go for a little cruise. Encourage any leftover mice to find a new home. And we should be done. We can hardly believe it, but this is gonna be the end of cabin life. 10 months later, it's all she wrote, folks. Oh, I have it the wrong way. <gasps> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the series. And we'll see you Sunday. And don't forget, take five minutes, call someone you love. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to see more of you. Okay, bye. Okay, I couldn't inf <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I in the way of the shot? <laughs> oh, let me just move my body. Did you get your pump on this morning? Mm -hmm. Did you get your pump on this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Morning, neighbor. Oh. Hey, little jolly jumper, get out of the way. Oh, my dear. That looks good, dude. Dudes, you like a really good at IKEA, dude. My dudes, my fellow dudes. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. You, you know, Jira, I have to tell you, but your shirt's inside out. Oh, oh that's <laughs> embarrassing. You see the tags here <laughs> and the stripes on the other. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't think we want to get that on film. <laughs>